1980, 28,000 people lost their lives in alcohol-related crashes. 56.8% of the total 51,091 traffic fatalities. Fewer than 60% of all fatality injured drivers and only 20% of surviving drivers involved in fatal crashes were tested for alcohol in 1980. On an average, 76 people died per day from alcohol-related crashes. 6.0% of high school seniors reported that they drank alcohol daily. MAD is Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and uh, it's a group, uh, not necessarily all mothers, uh, fathers, uh, non-parents, anybody who is interested in helping us achieve our goals, and our major goals are to eliminate drunk driving and to support people who have been victims of drunk drivers. We're trying to fight drunk driving and uh, doing everything we can to educate the public that it's a very serious consequence when people drink and drive, that uh, it, it doesn't need to happen, and uh, we're working in, in many ways through the courts, through uh, public education, uh, to make people change their drinking and driving behavior. Well, uh, I started to say that we, we do work through the courts. We um, attend, monitor courts, see what's actually happening. We uh, stand for strict enforcement of the law because we feel that that's a deterrent to people continuing to drink and drive. We uh, try to educate uh, everyone, uh, people who are drinking and driving and children uh, as to the dangers as they grow up. Uh, the general public who may not be drinking and driving but they have to share the road so everyone uh, shares the problem. It, it's everybody's problem. We work with uh, different police departments. Many of our members have talked at training sessions Again, telling their own personal story, what has actually happened. And uh, when you hear that, you, you know it's true. It, is, it isn't just something somebody's talking about or um, making up out of their imagination. People are killed, people are injured, families are destroyed. Uh, it's a lifetime effect. It's not something you get over next week or next month or next year. Well, I, I became involved when MAD came to Cuyahoga County uh, in 1982. Uh, just before I started reading about him in the paper, my daughter was hit by a drunk driver. She was coming home uh, two blocks from her home uh, at 3.30 in the afternoon. She had her little baby, 18 months old, in the car seat, fortunately, and an unemployed drunk driver came barreling down the the street and didn't stop and and hit them. Uh, I know I'm very very lucky they were not killed. If it had been a couple of feet farther uh, they very likely might have been. About our support group uh, which is a very important part of the MAD organization uh, because uh, the support group is here to help the victims and they're our, our prime uh, project in the MAD organization, which means um, when families go through a tragic death, uh, they need to be with people that have gone through similar uh, tragic deaths to understand and know how they feel. Uh, when you're dealing with a normal death, it's one thing, but when you're dealing with a tragic death, it's altogether a different thing. And we're here to lend moral support and uh, we, the people come and uh, they tell their stories and in turn the people that are here tell their stories and before you know it they know that they're not alone, that others know exactly how they feel. March of 1988, um, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, Josephine and Frank Boniuto, uh they got killed by a drunk driver, a 17-year-old drunk driver. And I turned to MAD uh, because I was angry and I wanted to take my anger out on something and I got involved with MAD because it was a way to channel my anger into something constructive. And one of the things that did help me in the MAD organization was the support group 
because when I was with the people in the support group, I felt like I had reached a new height of a family. I had gotten into another family, and this family was there for me when I needed them the most. My main job with Matt is to be state representative from Cuyahoga County to the state of Ohio. There's 23 chapters in Ohio and we all get together several times a year, representatives, to discuss what's going on in the state and giving each other ideas. But the main thing I'd like to talk to you about today is our Project Red Ribbon. It's one of our biggest campaigns and it's a public awareness campaign to make sure that the public is aware how tragic drinking and driving really is. And what we like to do is take these red ribbons and there's a little card here that tells you about the Red Ribbon Campaign and tie it onto a visible part of your automobile. Hopefully to the left uh, side mirror or to your antenna of your car so that every time you approach your car it dawns in your mind that you know drinking and driving is wrong and if you've been drinking maybe you should take a second thought before you get in your vehicle. Three years ago my 17 year old daughter Tracy was killed and her boyfriend also was killed by a drunk driver coming home from Cedar Point the day after her, her uh, prom. And uh, it took me a long time to come to MAD. You know, someone had called me on the phone and uh, left a message and I got some information in the mail from some other people. And it took me a long time to come to the realization that maybe um, this would be a good organization for me to get involved in. In 1990, these statistics changed greatly, and that is what MAD is all about. 22,470 persons lost their lives in traffic crashes involving alcohol, representing a 49.3% of the total 45,555 traffic deaths, a reduction of 19%. On an average today in 1990, 62 individuals lose their lives daily in alcohol-related crashes. That is a reduction in 19%. Testing of driver fatalities and traffic crashes now measures 75.1% and 23.5% of surviving drivers are now tested for alcohol. The percentage of high school seniors reporting they drink alcohol daily dropped to 4.2%. There are 400 MAD chapters across the country and more than 1,000 stronger DWI laws have been passed since 1980. One fact that I'd like you to remember is in two years, more people die from alcohol-related crashes than have been killed in the entire Vietnam War.